Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. The largest forest in the world has hidden many secrets for thousands of years. From isolated tribes to lost civilizations, here are some of the discoveries from Amazon that you won't believe. Amazonian Tribes There are around 400 to 500 indigenous tribes living in the Amazon forests. It is believed about 50 of those tribes never had any contact with the outside world. This video documents the first ever interaction of the Tapuani tribe with the outside world. They came out of the forest because they were afraid of some other tribe that was threatening their existence. This interaction was recorded thanks to anthropologist Jose Carlos Morales, who has been working with the isolated tribes all his life. These isolated tribes show us our past. They are what we used to be. The Tapani people are now living on the banks of Amazon River under the protection of the Brazilian government, healthier and happier than ever. Amazonian Giant Centipede The Amazon has an amazingly rich ecosystem. The forest is home to a whopping 2.5 million unique insects. It also hosts some of the biggest creepy crawlies, like this giant centipede. These giant centipedes are not really insects. They belong to the group of myropods, which have been around for about 425 million years. Despite having so many legs, they move around really slowly but they can give a really nasty, venomous, and painful bite. They usually hunt at night, so if you're planning to camp in the Amazon, I would recommend you to pack a hammock, or perhaps an entire house would be better. Plant that eat meat. You might have seen a Venus flytrap that feeds on flies, but have you ever seen a plant that can devour a whole mouse? Known as Attenborough's pitcher plant is a carnivorous plant that can eat an entire rat. Unlike the Venus flytrap, this plant doesn't close its pod, it stays open. When a small rat or any other creature falls in its mouth, it drowns and gets dissolved in the stomach acid. I feel bad for this poor mouse. In the Amazon, there are around 40,000 plant species, each bizarre and unique in its own way. Zombie Snail Creatures of the Amazon forest are truly creepy, bizarre, and macabre. Look at this snail! Looks like it is trying to hypnotize someone. In reality, this snail itself is under the influence of a dangerous parasite known as the Green Banded Brood Sack. It is a type of flatworm that can take over a snail and lay its eggs in the host snail. The larvae takes over the snail's body, particularly its eye sockets, and move around in them, forcing it to perform aggressive mimicry to resemble a worm so that some predator would eat it, allowing the parasite to spread. So creepy! Geoglyphs Before the arrival of the Europeans, Amazon forest was home to more than a million people. Modern deforestization in this massive forest has revealed more than 450 geometrically shaped ditches, known as geoglyphs, which occupy roughly 13,000 square kilometers in Brazil. Why those people used to manipulate landscapes like that is still unknown to the researchers. These circular designs were hidden away from the human eye for thousands of years by the trees, but now they are visible from air. According to one theory, these were made by the landing alien spaceships. I wonder what else is hidden away in the deep, dark forests of the Amazon. Mind-controlling fungus I am telling you that the zombie apocalypse is near. Found in the Amazonian rainforest of Brazil, this fungus known as Apiacortopitis capazanti balazini, its harmless-looking spores fly through the air until it finds a host, an unsuspecting carpenter ant. The spore lands on the ant's body. Then it makes its way through the exoskeleton into the body, where it starts eating the insides of the ant. It eats just enough to weaken the ant, but keep it alive. When the fungus reaches maturity, it releases a chemical into the ant's brain. The ant then makes its way to an area where there are more ants. The ant then climbs a tall plant and clamps its jaws onto the underside of a leaf, just as the parasite begins to consume its brain. 
days later, a huge fungal reproductive structure shoots out of the ant's body. Spores fall down onto more ants and the cycle repeats. Imagine if somehow scientists are able to alter this fungus's genes and instead of targeting ants, it starts targeting humans. Bullet Ants The Amazon forest is home to a lot of deadly creatures, but this little ant must be avoided at all cost. Rightly named, the bullet ants are capable of giving a nasty sting, the pain of which will last for 24 hours. According to the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, the bullet ant's sting is the most painful, with a 4-plus rating above that of the tarantula hawk wasp. Some people describe the pain as being shot by a firearm. The bullet ant stretches almost 1.5 inches in length. There is another reason why this tiny ant is so famous in this forest. It's because of the Satura Maui tribe of the Amazon and their extreme rite of passage. Every Maui man has to go through his ritual about 20 times in his life. The ants are woven into a mesh made of palm leaves, and then those mesh are placed in a pair of gloves that has to be worn by the men for at least 10 minutes. They dance and endure the pain like superhumans. They believe that the toxin from the sting helps them in getting immune to diseases, and going through this pain brings boys closer to real manhood. This is insane! Vampire Bats There are so many scary creatures living in the Amazon that a horror movie can be made on each creature alone. Straight from the scenes of Dracula, these vampire bats are the epitome of a brilliant stalker. They use their hypersenses like their extra-sensitive nose that can detect the heat coming from their prey's body, and their acute sonar-like hearing to locate and stalk their prey until they find a perfect spot to feed. Vampire bats can also locate which part of the body has thick skin and where more capillaries are. Then they latch on to the unsuspecting prey and can suck their red juice for hours without getting noticed. If you still think this animal isn't from a horror movie, then I don't know what is. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. This image is the theatrical representation of Homo flarinesius. Homo flarinesius are also known as hobbits because of their really small stature. But these hobbits were not as friendly as what is shown in the fantasy movies. Evidence supporting their existence in the island of Flores, Indonesia, has been found and the local people call them Ubo Gugo, which means a grandparent who eats everything. And by everything, they meant humans, too. These primitive humans were responsible for eating two researchers in 1977, which resulted in an innocent man getting life sentence for ending the lives of those researchers and eating them by the Indonesian government. The existence of these primitives is debatable, as other than the man who was sentenced in the local tribes, no one has actually seen them. So what do you guys think about this? Is it real or just a hoax? Let us know in the comments. World's Largest Spider You can find all the biggest, the scariest, and the deadliest things in the Amazon rainforest. This spider is known as the King of Spiders. Why? Because this is the largest spider on our planet. With a leg span close to a foot long, they can weigh up to 170 grams. Goliaths don't usually eat the birds, but they can, and sometimes they do, but they do rely on frogs and small rodents. These spiders have a really bad eyesight. The hair on their body detects vibrations when something is close to them. They defend themselves by rubbing their legs together, releasing their utertracting hairs, which can hurt the predator's eyes and skin. These spiders have fully evolved to survive the dangerous environment of the Amazon forest. Harry? and scary. Pararuku This is one of the largest freshwater fish on this planet. Pararuku is known as the prized fish of the Amazon. The Pararuku belongs to a primitive group of carnivorous fish that have bony tongues, and they crush their prey with their large tongue that is studded with teeth. These fish have teeth everywhere in their mouth, 
and to increase the scare factor, they grow up to 10 feet in length, but sadly they are on the verge of extinction because of their mass hunting. Some high-end hotels in Brazil offer this fish on their menu as a delicacy, and their leather is used for various things. I always say that humans are scarier than any monster. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.